I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment here in Kearns, Texas and soon to be in Canton, Texas. Uh, today we're doing something I've actually been wanting to do this video for a while, so I'm pretty excited. So if you haven't uh, seen some of our videos, that's okay. But like this, this is one that I've kind of wanted to do for a while because I love these tractors. You've probably heard me talk about the SA series, 325, 425, even the 223. We shot that video recently. Um, but, and I own a 324, very, very similar to this, you know, so I, I really, really like these tractors, like to talk about them. But one of the favorite things we do here at PR Equipped is customize these tractors, right? So, so there are any number of accessories or attachments and things like that. We really like to customize these and we feel like we're pretty good at it. And we, we keep a lot of inventory, stuff like that. So we're good when it comes to accessorizing these tractors. And we wanted to talk about two things. One, kind of the most popular accessories for these tractors. And two would probably be um, maybe go on beyond the most popular ones. And let's talk about some of the other things that are, that are, that are pretty sweet too. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of start in the middle and we're just going to work through some of these accessories. We've kind of thrown a lot of stuff at this. We've put more or less, there's a few things we don't have on this thing, but more or less, these are the things you're going to be interested in. So I'm going to kind of start uh, just at a couple of the most popular and then move on from there. So one thing, and this is getting to be very, very popular. Yanmar offers a kit. We offer a third function kit, but, or a, a aftermarket kit, but it's to add the third function to the tractor. And so you've got your hydraulic connections here, but I like the Yanmar kit. I, I mean, the, the aftermarket kit's not bad and sometimes that's all you can get, but we finally got a good batch of these uh, Yanmar kits in here, uh, which, which really look good. So the valve mounts here, you've got a push button here uh, and you've got your hydraulic con, you know, hookups down there. So the Yanmar kit, we really like the way it hooks up, the way it mounts. It's a good quality kit and we're excited to have a bunch of those back in stock. That kit goes for, I believe it's like about 620 bucks. It is something you can install yourself, but if you're buying a tractor, you know, this is the time to do it is go ahead and get all that stuff up front. You put in your financing. It doesn't amount to a couple bucks a month to do it. So definitely something to think about when you're buying your tractor. Uh, but that's so you can run the Yanmar grapple. I really like the Yanmar grapple. It's set up to use the Yanmar's quick attach. Uh, and one thing I really like about it is they, they actually put kickstands on their grapple. I sell a lot of grapples and most of them do not have that, right? So you've got to lean against a tree, do something with it, leave it open, something like that. I really like the fact that Yanmar put those kickstands. Something a little simple, but it's pretty cool. Um, kind of moving back and just talking about a few other real popular items. And then we're going to come back forward and talk about a few of the others. Um, but it's okay. So the, the additional light kit. So when you buy the additional light kit, you actually get two of these lights, one for each side. And they actually, you can switch them on and off independently. So if you don't want both of them on, you can use one or the other or do whatever, you know, you feel like there. Uh, but the light kit's a good accessory too. Um, currently the work light kit runs about 225 bucks. And we have an LED version of this going to be coming real soon. Be a little bit more money, but it'd be something to think about. Uh, so be, be on the lookout for that. If that's something you're interested in, let us know. Kevin in parts, uh, you can text him at 903-270-0877. And, and he can definitely set you up with that and, and kind of get you going whether you want just a standard uh you know that with the halogen bulbs or if you want to go with the, the upgraded leds uh you can do that as well that led light kit is not something that's offered through yanmar that's us doing an upgrade so if that's something you're looking for we can help the next thing is the canopy so this is actually a yanmar canopy um we offer some aftermarket options but for the sa series we've really found that the Yanmar canopy is the best one to go with. It's a little bit more money, but it looks really clean. And I love the way it mounts to the side of the roll bar versus the top. And, and it's on some tractors, it doesn't matter. The roll bar's you know, a little bit bigger on larger tractors and it mounts up a little easier. Well, on the, on the Yanmar, we need something. Mounting it to the side is just, just a little bit better, a little bit more premium option. As far as if you're looking for a canopy, it runs about 610 bucks. So it is a little more expensive than some of the other aftermarket options that we, that we do offer, but I like it's, it's a premium canopy for this tractor. One other thing I want to talk about is the rear remotes. And this is not a fun subject to talk about because obviously if, if any of y'all are out there, you've known that there's, there's been some supply issues on 325s and 425s where they initially planned to put it on every 325 and 425 to have that standard. And then that kind of fell by the wayside because they couldn't get enough supply. So they reduced the price of the tractor and we're not supplying them with the remotes with the intention of hopefully doing that again at some point, but they did discount it back to more or less 324, 424 pricing. Uh, but, but it's not coming with remotes. So I know it's kind of a touchy subject for some people. It's a pain. It's, it's not easy for us either because yeah, guys call and they're expecting it or they're not, you know, they don't know and not everybody needs it, but 
this is a nice kit. To add it after the fact, it's a little bit more expensive than if you do it when you buy the tractor, obviously installation, stuff like that. Uh, but it is a kit that we do stock if that's something you want to add. Or if you have a 324, 424, we can absolutely sell you this kit and now you've got a couple of sets of hydraulics on the back. If you have the rear remotes, it is my personal opinion that the, the hydraulic top link is a must. Um, the hydraulic top link allows you to more or less adjust, uh, adjust the top link from the, from the seat. Uh, if you put it in the right side of these, or it's actually currently in the right side of this, this valve body, it can also go into a float position, which can allow maybe your, your box blade or whatever to kind of contour a little bit better. Now, knowing that, saying that, there are two different versions of these hydraulic top links. And you kind of got to know what you're, what you're really going after, because this is a non-check valve style, which allows us to use the float position. However, you can probably expect to get a little bit of drift over time. It will settle. Um, so just know that going into it. However, you could also go with a check valve style, uh, but then float doesn't work. The check valve is designed to prevent th that settling, that drifting. So it's kind of a t six one half dozen the other. We sell more of this style because I think the float's kind of a pretty cool option to use, but you can't expect like a little bit of drift on it. And so if that's something that's a big issue, or if you're gonna have real heavy implants back here, or maybe bales or whatever it is, be thinking about that. Uh, one other thing, and like I say, we have all these available. We make our own hoses and stuff like that. So we try to make them fit, you know, to, to the best of our ability. And they've got swivels and things. So this one swivels. Um, but the next one is the quick hitch. If you're going to do a hydraulic top link, I highly suggest that you do the, 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 the quick hitch. And that one of the biggest reasons is because it kind of keeps this in check. This will hang off of here. It hangs off that hose. But big, big picture, you're really going to, this just takes it to a different level when we add the quick hitch. And so, if you're going to do hydraulic top link, definitely do the quick hitch, uh, and it's going to be a game changer anyway, especially if you don't have any crazy implements. But probably some exceptions. If you had really old implements or something that might not be quick hitch compatible, it could be an issue. Or if you're doing a lot of post hole digging or whatnot, that's not going to be compatible with a quick hitch. In fact, that's not compatible with your, with your top link either. You're going to get rid of all that to do, uh, to do that. Another accessory, this is not something we sell a ton of. Um, it's a little, like, obviously it'd be great if this was a little bit bigger box, but this is the Yanmar Toolbox Kit. Uh, these run, I think, about 70 bucks. Super easy to install. Uh, it's definitely something you can do yourself. I love it. Throw a pair of pliers, throw a couple pins in there, maybe a hammer uh, for beating those pins out. So I like this. I think it's a great option. There is some adjustability to it, which we've tightened it up, but you can kind of go up or down with it uh, to where, you know, wherever it fits your situation the best. So I definitely think, like I say, for 70 bucks, that's a great upgrade. So we've talked about the lights. We've talked about everything on the back. Uh, one thing we should definitely talk about, and we've, we've got another video out, but talk about the skid plate. So this is the full body Yanmar branded skid plate. Uh, we get a lot of people that get concerned about knocking those hydraulic fittings off or, or doing something like that. To be honest with you, it's not something we see a lot of, but if you're in trees a lot, if, if you're you know, doing a lot of brush work, it's probably not a bad idea to go ahead and get that, that skid plate up. I believe that the skid plate is 420 bucks. Obviously, if, if you don't want us to put it on, there's a little bit of insulation, but the kit's 420 bucks. It covers the full bottom of the tractor in addition to, to the hydraulics on the side. It's a pretty cool upgrade and does a great job. So definitely something to be thinking about. Moving around back up to the front i want to talk about the deluxe grill guard the deluxe grill guard is not something that we uh we sell a ton of it's it's a nice option so basically when you get the deluxe grill guard this gets a little more stable and of course you got a couple crossbars it's just a little bit heavier duty uh of a grill guard but it's also got mounting points for lights so that's probably one of the biggest things is that's already installed, but it is much heavier duty than the original. And it does tilt just a little bit to allow you to get in here, especially like say, if you had some lights on here, it gets a little tricky. And so when you fold that forward, you've got a little bit more room there and it locks back in place. One other thing, the Piranha Tooth Bar. Y'all, if this is one of my favorite accessories that we can get uh, is the Piranha Tooth Bar. The Piranha Tooth Bar kind of serves a dual purpose. We, we have also sold several of just a standard duty, kind of a, a dirt tooth bar that goes on these. And it's a, nice, it's, it's a nice option as well, but kind of the one advantage to the Piranha, and I think that's why they call it the Piranha, is let's say we're trying to clear out some underbrush. Uh, you've got some small saplings or whatnot. Because of the, the design of this and the way it's cut, you can fork those and then they'll get hooked in there and just rip those out of the ground. So big heavy weeds and small saplings and things like that, you can just kind of pluck those out of the ground. 
that's a great upgrade as well. Easy to install. So if it's one, something you want to install yourself, that's OK. Uh, but here again, the best way to buy this tractor is just as it sits. I want everything. Uh, throw it all at it. And, and like I say, now you've got a completely customized tractor that's, that's pretty sweet. Uh, one, two, two accessories of mention to mention of note. One is the 12 volt power outlet. Now guys, if you've got a 223, 325, or 425, you've already got this. But if you've got a 221, 324, or 424, you do not. This accessory is not that expensive. I wanna say it's like 20 bucks. I don't honestly know, I didn't put it on my sheet. Um, but very, very, very economical. If you wanna charge your phone while you're doing something or, or whatnot, or just pull 12 volts for whatever, that's something to think about. And cruise control. We didn't install cruise control on here. It's kind of a low take rate. If you're doing lots of shredding or belly mowing or something, it, it's definitely something that you might wanna consider. But the cruise control, it's electric. So uh, versus a lot of other man manufacturers, it's gonna be kind of just a mechanical, kind of hold your foot in place. Ours is electromagnetic. And so there's a switch that goes here. It's gonna actually use electromagnets to, to, to grab a hold of, of the pe linkage, but it'll also kick out when you touch the brake pedal. So it's got a little bit more functionality than most, uh, than most uh, uh, of, the, of the cruise control kits. So definitely something to think about there. Finally, I think I've covered, let's see, bam, 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 uh, is the LED headlights. This is a must. We've talked about this quite a bit. We've actually decided as PR equipment that all of our SA series are gonna leave with the LED headlights. It's not something that comes from Yanmar. It's something we found aftermarket that we really like. If you buy your tractor from us, we're, we're gonna do this at no charge. We're gonna upgrade your headlights. These LEDs are like three times brighter than the halogens. Plus, I'm just a big fan of the color. I, I, I like that a lot better than the old yellow kind of halogen bulbs. So definitely something to think about uh, when you're out shopping for a tractor is, you know, does your dealer, can they hook you up with what you're looking for? How long does it take to do that? Some of this stuff takes forever to wait on. These third function kits are kind of crazy, but we finally got, I don't know, a dozen or so in stock. So we've got a few for a little while. Uh, hopefully make it to spring at least. Um, but the fact that we do the LED headlights, and there's a lot of value-added services that we can provide here at PR Equipment that maybe you can't get at a, at a you know, a smaller Yammer dealer or a dealer that kind of views Yanmar as kind of a sideline brand. That's not us. Uh, we, <laughs> I love talking about these tractors. I love working with these tractors. But we can definitely accessorize your tractor to make it yours. What, what of these accessories do you need? Uh, maybe you don't know that. Maybe you want to ask some questions. That, that's what we're here for as well. You can always talk to my sales guys. Like, you know, 903, we got Dylan, we got Dante back, back in these sales offices. You can talk to either one of those guys. They know both these, they know these tractors really, really well. Because I don't know, we've sold a bunch last year. We, we sell a lot of these tractors. It's, it's, it's arguably the most, most uh, popular series of tractor that we sell is the SA Series Yamar. So call, call or text those guys at 903-270-0877. Uh, if you're looking to just purchase any of these kits, you want to, we can ship them to you. We can do anything like that. We actually have our website, which is PREquipmentSales.com. A lot of this stuff is listed on there. We're working on getting pictures updated and things like that. But you can purchase a lot of that stuff online. We can ship it to you. You can always call or text Kevin as well at 903-270-0877. And we can, we can set you up with those. We have a lot of this stuff in stock. In fact, I'd, obviously we have it all in stock. It's all on this tractor. Uh, but we can ship you those kits. Canopy gets a little touchy to ship. You know, Prana bars though, we can ship those a little heavier, but that we can, we can pretty much get you anything you're looking for if you're not close to us and we can help you do something like that. Kevin's a great, great resource. We even have some videos on how to install some of this stuff and we're working on getting videos on the rest of the items. Uh, but like I say, guys, this is why you, you choose PR. Come see us in, in Currens or soon to be in Canton, Texas. We wanna be your Yanmar tractor dealer here in North Central Texas and be honest with you, beyond. So if we can help you all out, give us a call, 903-270-0877. Subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook. If there's anything you'd like to see us cover, we'd like to do that for you. So we'll do the best of our ability to, to accommodate. Thanks, y'all.